What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about Thermal Defense Solutions 3D printed suppressors. Hey guys, before I start the video, I just wanted to give a shout out to Operator Coffee and Pine Valley Munitions. I'm a brand new channel, only started about two months ago, and Operator Coffee and Pine Valley Munitions have supported the channel so far, and I can't thank you guys enough. If you want to check out Operator Coffee or Pine Valley Munitions, I'll put the links in the description as well as some discount codes if you guys want to buy yourself some coffee or some ammo. Both of them are veteran owned and operated companies, so check them out and support your veteran owned and operated businesses. So guys, I've really been wanting to do this video for a while. My very first video I posted on YouTube, which was just absolutely awful. First time I've ever talked in front of a camera. First time I've ever edited video, but it was just an introduction to this suppressor and I was gonna do a full review on it. Just the Thermal Defense Solutions Strix suppressor. I was asked if I wanted to go out with Thermal Defense Solutions owners and Dr. James Klett from Oak Ridge National Labs to try out all their suppressors and do some testing. So we went out, we used, uh, they brought some decibel meters, some high speed cameras and some thermal imaging cameras. So I could try out all their suppressors on multiple different platforms. Now, the decibel meters that we had were unfortunately the wrong ones. So we didn't get to use the decibel meters that day. So I'm gonna put on the video, all the information about these suppressors, including the decibel reduction, but that is information given to me by Dr. James Klett at Oak Ridge National Labs. I didn't actually get to see it myself. So, guys, these are awesome suppressors. They are 3D printed out of Inconel 718. They are absolutely gorgeous suppressors. Awesome design on them. Direct thread only. They don't offer a quick detach right now. I'm not sure if they're going to. Um, some people like uh, direct thread, some people like QD. I personally love QD. I have no problem with direct thread. Uh, if you're gonna buy a suppressor, why shoot unsuppressed? And you don't have to buy all the, uh, all the muzzle brakes or flash hiders that go with that suppressor to use it. But once again, I prefer QD, but I absolutely love this suppressor. So I gotta shoot their entire lineup. I'll put all the information and all their cans in the video. I'll also post up all the stats on them. I'm not really sure. I don't remember everything. Awful memory. So while we we're out there, we used all Hornady ammo. I'll also put the ammo up that we used, except for the 5.56. I made sure I used my Pine Valley Munition 77 grain Sierra Match King with that. Um, had no issues while shooting. The back pressure from these or the blowback was pretty minimal. The only time I really noticed blowback was when I was shooting 5.56 through the Strix, which is a 7.62 suppressor. When I was shooting 5.56 through the Badger or the Bantam, I didn't have any issues with uh, blowback. Wasn't coughing and choking on gas at least. So Thermal Defense Solutions, pretty new company. They got the design for this suppressor from Oak Ridge National Labs, which designed it and still owns the patent for it. They gave licensing rights to Thermal Defense Solutions to bring it to the consumer. It was originally designed for U.S. SOCOM and Special Naval Special Warfare Group, but it never got used. So Thermal Defense Solutions, getting the rights to it, can manufacture and bring it to the consumer. The suppressor is made of Inconel 718, 3D printed with a laser melting process, which makes it stronger than a typical machined suppressor because it has no welds in it. It's just one solid piece. It allows them to do some things inside that just normally can't be done. So the way this is set up is it's got helicoils on the outside that basically send the gases into a twist around the outside of the suppressor pulling the gases away from the center bore. It's supposed to help cool it down quicker and uh, eliminate blowback on the operator. So it's got nice little ejection ports on the end to vent the gases away from the shooter. So it's a pretty neat design. Like I said, I've had no issues with it. I've put about 3,000 rounds through this myself with 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, 300 blackout, and 5.56. Also, pretty minimal uh, first round pop for the flash signature. Um, I did a little bit of work with it under MBGs, and there is first round pop with any suppressor. 
but it wasn't as bad as I've seen on some. And then after that first round pop, there's absolutely no flash coming out of the end of this under goggles. Let's head out to the range. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. We'll be done by noon. Alright. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. Oh, that's like so quiet at the ear. Watch. Well, I'm sitting back here listening to like, I can use one of those. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. So I had a good time messing with the suppressor. I had a great time with Thermal Defense Solutions messing with all their suppressors and all the stuff they brought out for me to shoot. So I can't thank them enough. Um, if you guys like them, check them out on thermaldefenseinc.com. Links in the description. They've also got a link to all the dealers that you can buy these from right now. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing some more stuff from these guys. So. If you like the video, like, subscribe, click that bell icon to get notifications when we post new content. We really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.